save this to the desktop. Well, well, well. Look who's live with the live audience. I'm going to show y'all. Today, dear friends, I'm showing you guys a new thing. Also, look what I can do with my screen. Do you, can you? Hey, batter, batter. Hey, batter, batter. Swing. I got to just do my thing. That's the lyrics to High School Musical 2 when they, when they play baseball. Y'all remember that song? Okay, so listen, dear class, I'm going to show you guys how to make a, uh, like a janky uh, uh, glitch. Why do you always describe Why do I describe things as janky? This is a very precise, okay, let me show you an example. When teenagers do something, they do janky. Like, okay, here, they, let me show the people at home real quick, too. A teenager made this of a frog, and it's a frog with a really long neck. And when you fold it up like an accordion, um, it looks kind of like a frog. Can you see this? Are you looking at it? Okay. But then when it, what? First of all, it's not proportioned correctly. And second of all, it is, it is janky. If something is janky, I'll call it janky. That's basically, long story short, all you need to know. Bet, right? So it's not lit and it's not phi. It's just janky. It doesn't smacks. It doesn't slaps. This is just a janky frog. Okay, so here, a minute and a half have gone by, and we have not even started. We haven't even looked at Photoshop. Okay, so listen, please. Dear people, thank you for your patience. And uh, you're probably not janky. Let me, I'm going to share the content, and then, okay, here we go. So here's Photoshop, and we're doing a glitch. Look at this. Whoa, a real-life teenager made that in this classroom. We'll do, we'll do one of our logo. I'm going to make a clone of the logo, and you'll see why later. Okay, here's the thing. There's three different kinds of glitches to make. One is you can glitch by making parts of it go off to the side, right? Another is you can make it wavy, like a microwave, kind of like that. And then the third way is the color, how the color offsets the red. and It's like a 3D kind of thing where the colors are set to the side. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do all three of those things. So, okay, here's our logo. Just a plain old logo, just mind its own business, right? And then I'm going to select one part of it. And with the move tool, right here, the move tool, if you don't hold shift, oh no, it'll get janky. It'll go up or down. That's not good. We don't want it to go up or down. Instead, I will hold the shift button and it keeps it on this axis. See, that's good. We want it to stay on the axis. So here, I'll do one more like that. We'll select around this little part right here. Just a little bit thin line. And then with the move tool, we can hold the shift button and keep it on that axis. Holding the shift button. Okay, so there's one kind of glitch. That's the simple kind. The slightly more complicated kind is if we select around one portion of it and we go to filter, distort, shear. Filter, distort, shear. And when you click that, Oh, what? What is this, Mr. Cox? Well, you just click and drag and make it a little wavy. Oh, the top and the bottom. Look, at it shows you what it's going to do right there. And then you can click, okay, that's what I want to do. So here's the trick. If you want to do another part, like this part down here, either you can go to filter and then the shears at the very top, that'll exactly redo the same amount of uh, waviness. Oh, same amount of waviness. Or, step backward, you can go to filter, distort, shear. Again, and it lets you specify exactly how much or how little waviness to do. I'll do a, a little smaller amount of waviness. Just a little wave. Oh, just a little baby wave. And then you can go to filter, shear. Again, that just redoes the same amount if you want to do Okay, so there's another way. So far, we have offset some parts. And we've waved other parts. But what about the color part? How do we do that? All right, here we go. So you go to channels. It's right next to layers. You click on channels right here. And you just pick a, pick a color. We'll do the red only. It's showing you how much red. There's a lot of red mixed in there. So this time, again, again, let's redo that. So you get it. You go to channels. And then you tell it a particular color. Not all the rest of the colors. Just red. Okay. And so then... You go up at the top to filter, not regular shear, filter, distort, shear. And then you make it barely off. 
like so very close to the middle line, like not very much off at all. You want it to barely offset this thing. It'll get real janky if you if you overdo it. And I'm just gonna click OK. Whoa, so wait a minute. The green is in the normal place and the blue is in the normal place and the red is not. Mr. Johnson, everybody! Mr. Johnson! Hey, let me, let me stop sharing. So you, would you have anything to say? I'm taking your advice and I'm doing the oh, live ones, ahead. yeah. So, well, hello, class. Well, well I'm so new. And look at what I can do, Mr. Johnson. Would you Ooh. like to be on the screen? Inception. You want to do this dance? All right. I wonder, That's good. please don't show this to your parents. <laughs> like, the, the odds of me being fired are almost 1,000% if, like, parents find out how incompetent I am. Okay, so here's the thing. We're so near to being dead. So then, okay, all we did was we went to the channels. We offset the red by going to filter and then distort shear by barely making it off. Distort shear. We barely made it off, remember? And then uh, it offsets it barely. So here's the thing. If you have the original logo and you have the janky logo, bzz, 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 you can make it glitch. Look at this. That's another day for how to make a GIF. Okay, I think that's all. If y'all have any questions, y'all just holler and uh, y'all stay lit. Five to keep smacks bet uh catch these hands throw these hands uh what's another